Artyom, I heard you call me. It was so great there. <coughs> but I heard you and couldn't leave you.
It's good Artyom found me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's a dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark the spot. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Artyom, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll just rest a bit and get going. <laughs> the old man's probably going seven sorts of crazy now, thinking his precious daughter got hurt or something. Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. Other than that, I'm fine. Artyom and the guys are here. Stepan, persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. So, sir, tell me what the real enemy bases look like so that we know when, when we see it. Well, first of all, there are these huge robots, all plastered with stars and stripes, with nuclear reactors up their asses. Oh, and the food's great. Burgers, fries, shakes. Nah, I'm being serious. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, let me be serious, too. How the hell am I supposed to know how they look now? I haven't seen one in, what, 20 years or so? A fence, some guard towers, patrols, buildings. Bases look like bases. Nothing like that around here. We have yet to see anything even remotely resembling one. But if we do, I'll be sure to go say hi. If I can still remember how to speak English. Uh, all right. D don't be mad. Do you guys really believe you're going to see any Americans here? I was hesitant at first, but now I think I'm the only American we're ever going to see out here. <laughs> well, that's fine by me, since we can always talk things out with you, Sam. <laughs> Artyom, help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us, even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. I... Uh, we... We have to go back now, I guess. Where... Where would you go? Those fanatics would eat you alive. Well... Maybe they... I don't know. I mean, sure, it's not just about the space. We might have to fight our way through the bridge, and even after we do, we don't know what dangers lie ahead. But still... Well, Hi, Artyom. All right, welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. 
Look, we have an opportunity to cross the bridge without an assault. There are trade caravans going up the river, and the bridge dwellers do business with them. So, disguised as such traders, we will infiltrate the bridge and lower it. Katya says it still works. They won't be able to stop us if we move fast. And should they try, we'll cross it no matter what those fanatics think. They want blood, they will get it. So now, we only have to wait for the traitor's boat. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Sipan, did you ever try using your head? Do you know where we are going? What we are going to face on the way there? Where, pray tell, are they going to sleep on the Aurora? Atop the coal crates? We Spartans can handle it. But for a woman with a six-year-old daughter, no less, this is unacceptable. I'll give them my bedroll and move into the stove. You will fall asleep and get your throat cut the next day you'll get guard duty after trying to sleep there. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? How are we going to collect that carriage? I'm not taking the Aurora there. Oh, you don't need it. I have a rail car hidden in the terminal. It can tow a carriage like nobody's business. Artyom and I can go get it and, and bring the carriage back. No way I'm letting you go. It will take us both till morning to finish the repairs, and I can't handle it myself in time. Okay, okay, have it your way. I'm done playing the monster here. We get that carriage. We take the civilians with us. Artyom, will you handle this? Listen, Artyom, if the caravan is sighted, drop everything and rush to the port. It's our best chance of traversing the bridge. Thanks, Dad. Katya and Nastya will be so grateful. Here, Artyom. It's a breaker for the rail car. It won't run without this. She's a real babe, Artyomich. No two ways about it. We went to hell and back, here and I. So much stuff you hold, so... Many tight spots she saved me from. Look, Artyom, since you're going to the terminal, hear me out. It's quite a distance away, and look, if you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's done. But it's not gonna be easy either, since more beasts come out, and they're also electrical anomalies. The fanatics call them the demons of electricity, so you should think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stepan. I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Great job persuading the old man. Check out my setup here, Artyom. I finally got everything the way I wanted. A proper workbench, with storage space for all my tools, and some to spare. You can clean your weapons and make ammo for them here, just like with any other workbench you might find. My gun rack is only available here on the Aurora, though. I'll keep samples of every gun you find, and you can exchange them whenever you want. Always in the best working condition. Oiled and shiny like new. <laughs> you won't have to install any attachments again, though. I am going to make you all competent gunsmiths eventually. Listen, Artyom, I have something for your TR. You can try installing it. Use the workbench. Well, I won't keep you here any longer.
So, did the backpack come in handy? <laughs> I told you it was the best thing ever. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's Silentius. Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. Of course, God bless you, Artyom. Uh, that, that, let me take a look. Thank you. Artyom, uh, are you going to the terminal? You might meet Duke there. He's got an observation post set up in a carriage near the bridge. Ask him for a sit trap before going in. One more thing. That tower to the right, see it? There's someone over there. I think it's the bandits. They're watching us. Uh, well, we heard someone playing guitar over there. Those guys can't play for shit. Stepan wanted to take the instruments from them. They were butchering the melodies so badly. So, won't you liberate that guitar? Make an old friend happy. Stepan is a wizard with a six string. He plays some mean classic rock. Good luck, Artyom. You fucking sure? Yes, there's just nobody. We, I beg you. Hmm. Looks like the door ain't coming. So, should you let the sub go? Sure thing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, sucks to be you, I gotta say. Nobody to cough up the door at all. Fuck this noise. The bitches got one of ours! We're getting...
little snack. Fuck you. We get the dough, you drink. No, no money to pay for me. Just let me go. The fuck? There. I'm gonna check the shit out of this. I like about this place, it's just great. What rotten fucking luck. And it's some kind of shit. <laughs> it's never the good stuff. What's up? Come on! Is this your idea of joke? I'm finding you and kicking your ass so hard now. I fucking swear I saw it here. Meet you all, nothing again. What the fuck? Really? Simon, the breach is done for. The fanatics have taken over. I was prepared to give them a quarter of the cargo, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Wanted me to leave my diesel first, and fuck that noise. I'm not pushing the platform with a fucking hand car for 200 clicks. We're neck deep in the red, though. So I'm sending Surge to you with this message. Sell the diesel to the brothers, they were offering good cash for it, and get that ferry. Or a self-propelled barge or a tugboat. Do you understand me, Simon? No haggling. As soon as the others hear about the bridge, any piece of shit that floats will be worth its weight in gold. But we could still bounce back if we do it fast. Get to it, Simon. 
Thank you, thank you. Ah, these devils called me on my way to the house of the fish. I had a penance from my father, Celandius, and so I got about halfway, and then this got me. Uh. 